Hi everyone, it's Chet here from WebsiteWizard.tv. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a logo for your website. And we're going to be using our free logo kit to do this. So if you don't have our free logo kit, then all you need to do is head on over to WebsiteWizard.tv. And then when you sign up here as a free member, you'll have access to our logo kit. And then you can download that and then you can follow along with me in the tutorial. So once you've downloaded our free logo kit here, it's going to be in this zipped file here. So the first thing you need to do is unzip this file. Now I'm on a Windows machine here, so you might maybe on a Mac for example. So the process may be slightly different here, but essentially all you need to do is unzip this file. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So now that I've unzipped the file right here, I can now go ahead and open that up. And what you'll find inside this file is you'll find five different logos that you can customize and edit to suit your own needs. And we've also got some instructions here, which just give you some brief details. But in the instructions, I also provide a link to download a free trial version of Photoshop. So if any of you don't have Photoshop, then you can simply grab a free trial version and that's going to be free for around 30 days or 7 days which is more than enough time to customize your logo as we're going to do in this video and if I quickly open that up I've got the link right here for you to download a trial version of Photoshop now this link may change later on so if the link doesn't work for you, all you need to do is just go to adobe.com and then find Photoshop and just download the free version. So I'm going to open up one of the logos here. And then if you see this error message telling you that the fonts are missing, just press OK here. So here's our logo that we can customize right here. So if you look on the right here underneath the layers tab here, so if that's not open for you, just click on the Layers tab to open that up. And then you want to click this drop down right here to open up these layers and then click this second drop down here. So click on all the drop downs to open everything up right here. Now if you've never used Photoshop before, what you can basically do is organize things in layers. So each of these layers here corresponds to different parts of this logo. So if I turn off this one right here by hitting this uh, icon here, as you can see that's disappeared so I can switch that back on by clicking this again so this right here if I click this this layer right here is for this part right here this text and again if I try this one right here turn this on and off you can see this layer right here is for this text here and then you can see this one group there's two groups there's this one so if I turn that on and off you can see it's this part right here on the logo and the second group here, if I turn this on and off, you can see that's this part right here. And then this tagline here, as you can see, if you click on this tagline layer, then switch this on and off, you can see that's this part right here. So if you don't know what any of these are, you can just turn them on and off, go through each one, turning them on and off, and that will allow you to identify which layer corresponds with which part of the logo. So the first thing we want to do is customize the text on this logo. So if your website was um, redjackets.com, then you can call this red jackets here, or you might want to call it redjackets.com. So let's go ahead and start changing that. So let's focus on this part here, this your part. So let's find the layer for that. As you can see, it's labeled here with your, so that's easy to find. But if you didn't know which one it was, all you have to do is go through this list, turning these on and off to identify the layer. So we can see it's this one right here. So you just need to click on the layer there to select that so we can start working on that. So come on over to the left here and click this text icon right here. And then move towards this text here. And as you can see, once I get close to the text, these the box around the cursor disappears. So right here, there's a box around the cursor as you can see and as I approach the text the box disappeared now so that means I'm on the text now so if I left click and drag across I can highlight that text and again you can see we've got this error message telling us the font is missing so just press OK that's nothing to worry about 
So now that we've done that, we've highlighted the text. The first thing we can do is change the font color. So if I click on this up here, this is the current color. So we can go ahead and change that. You might want to change that to an orange here or a blue or a green. So you just simply click on the color here. And then once you click on the color, you can move to the left here and drag around here to choose a more specific variation of that color. So I'm just going to choose one of these colors here. I think I'll go for a kind of a bluish color and then I can click around here and I like that color. So I'm just going to press OK here. So the first thing we've done here is we've changed the font color and it looks green right now. And that's just because it's highlighted. If I press the check mark here to confirm the changes, you can see it's actually blue. So let's highlight that again. So hover close to that until the box around the cursor disappears. And then we can highlight that. So let's choose a different font style. So if you hit the drop down here, you can choose a number of different font styles here. So you can select whatever font style you want here until you find one that you like. I want to choose this one right here. So as you can see, when we change the font style, the text size slightly changes. So we can actually change the um, font size as well. So once it's highlighted, you can just hover over here and click the drop down. Then we can choose different font styles. We can choose 60 here. Or if you want to choose a more specific one from the list, if you want to choose, for example, 55, which isn't listed here, you just need to click the cursor up here and then type 55. And you can see that the font size changes as we do that. So let's try 65. So 65 looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to click the check mark here to confirm the changes. And now what we need to do is change the actual text. So let's highlight that again. And let's say, if, as an example, our website is bluejackets.com. So I'm going to type blue here and then click the check mark to confirm the changes. So now I've done the text on the left. I can do the same thing with the text on the right. So we need to now select the layer to be able to edit that. So if you go here, this is called logo. You can see this logo right here is the, the layer for this text. But if you don't know which one it is, just go through this list, turn them on and off each one until you identify which one it is. So I can see right here is this one. So I'm going to click this layer to highlight this to select this layer so we can start working with this. So the first thing you need to do is click on the text tab here, the text icon, highlight the text here. And then again, this error message, just press OK. And then, so our website's bluejackets.com. So let's type jackets, or you could type jackets.com, whatever you want. Now, as you can see, we've gone slightly off the screen here. So we need to highlight all of this and then choose a different font size. So I'm going to hit the drop down and choose 60 here. And then also while it's there, I'm going to hit the drop down here and change the font style to the same font that we chose earlier. In this case, I chose this one, popular, popular STD. So I'm going to highlight that. Then I'm going to click this check mark here to confirm the changes. And now what I can actually do is drag this around. So if I click this first icon here, I can now drag this to wherever I want. So I'm going to drag it a little closer to the blue here, the blue text. So another thing you can do is change this tagline here. So if you look on the right, you need to choose the tagline layer to edit that text. And it's right here, as you can see, put tagline here and you can confirm that by switching it on and off. And you can see that right here. So we need to click this layer here. And then what you want to do is come on over to the left, click the text icon. And again, just highlight all of this text. And again, just press OK if this error message pops up and put a tagline. So this is bluejackets.com. So I'm going to say something like the best jacket you'll ever wear. And then click the check mark here to confirm the changes. Then we can click this first icon here and just drag this text to center align that on the logo. Now, if you don't want this tagline here, all you need to do is uncheck the layer here and that will remove that from our logo. So in this case, I'm going to keep this checked right here. And again, if you want to customize the font style, 
the font family you can do that by clicking the text icon here highlighting the text and then just choosing a particular font family or color you can change the font color here as well or the font size I like it how it is so I'm just going to keep this keep it how it is so click the check mark and what we can do now is customize these images right here they're hiding behind the in the text right now because we made that bigger but we can move that so to identify those on the layers here you can see these two here groups and if you turn that on and off you can see that's for this image and if you turn this group on and off you can see that's for this image and again you can just go through here and turn each one on and off so you can identify which layer does what so here's the one for this image so let me click that to select that layer then I can click this first icon here and just drag that up a little bit so you can drag this wherever you want you can have it here 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 wherever you want that so I'm going to put it here and then what I can do is go to edit free transform and then I can increase the size of this or I can drag it around to warp it like this so drag that how you like and once you've done click on the check mark here and then you can drag that around as well like this so now I've done that I can do the same thing with the other image here so if you go down to this group here and turn that on and off you can confirm that it's that one so let me click here to select that layer and now again click the first icon here and move that to wherever you want that you can have it here down here or here I think it looks pretty good here so I'm going to leave it right there then I'm going to go to edit free transform and then just drag this around to increase the size or warp that I like it like this a little bit warped so I'm going to click check mark to confirm that then I'm going to use the first icon to just drag that slightly up here so there we go that's a logo complete here so another thing you may want to do is change the color of these icons right here so you need to select the layer for those so we've got two group layers here we've got this one and we've got this one so you need to select the layer to work with that so let's switch this on and off to see which one that is so we can see by switching this on and off that that's this one right here these green leaves so to change the color of this you want to click on the layer for that right here then you want to click on effects down here and then you want to click on color overlay so as you can see let me drag this over to the left here you can see that I've made those red right here well they went red by default now that's because the color red is selected here so to change that you could click on this right here and you can select different colors right here so you might want to select a color to match the text here for example so I could actually use the color dropper here to click on this to select the same blue right here or you could choose a different color right here so I'm going to choose a red right here then I'm just going to press OK and then press OK again right here and there we go so we've changed that to red so let's do the same thing for this one right here so we want to select the layer for this image right here so we can switch this this group on here is the one we are just working with so there's only one other group here so we can select that layer and we can just check that's the right one by switching it on and off and you can see on the left as we do that the image appears right here so that's the layer so click on that layer to select this one and then again come down here and press effects right here then press color overlay and as you can see again it's red by default so that's turned red we could change that to a different color by clicking the color here and then simply clicking around here to select a different color and then you can also click around in here to select a more specific variation of the color so I'm just gonna go for red again here and if I move these out the way whoops let's actually move this down so I'm just gonna close this one just gonna drag this down slightly so I can see the leaves here I'm gonna click the color again so now I can hover here and use the color dropper to select the exact same red that I selected for these leaves so as you can see these are red as well now now I can press OK and then OK again 
and there we go we've changed these icons to red now you may want to add some more effects to these images right here or the text and to do that you just simply select the layer so let's select this group layer here so let me turn this group I'm going to select that one then we're going to turn it on and off so I can see what one that is so that's these circles right here so I've selected that layer there now I can press effects and you can see there's a number of different effects you can choose for this so you could choose a drop shadow for example and as you can see we've now got a drop shadow on this image and you can just customize that further here the drop shadow color is black right now you can click on that and choose maybe a blue for example for the drop shadow color so you can just click here as well you can actually increase or decrease the opacity of the drop shadow here and you can also change the drop shadow color by clicking on that and selecting a different color here i'm just going to leave it as the default i want to press ok to apply the changes or you can just press cancel to not apply the changes if you do press ok to apply the changes and then you decide you think it looks better without the drop shadow then you can simply unselect that right here so you can see under effects here for this layer we've got drop shadow so you can just click on this icon right here to switch that off and we've now switched off that effect the same thing applies with the color overlay we can switch that off if we like and then it will return to the original color here let's turn that back on so there we go we've now finished our logo so all we need to do now is export this logo so we can save this to our computer so to do that click on file click on save for web and devices and then just click save but what you can do as well is you can choose the file format so in the drop down here you can choose gif jpeg ping and you can, if you choose a jpeg just be sure to note take note of the fact that the background turned white because jpeg doesn't support transparency so if I hit the drop down and choose ping here you can see this white and grey checkboxes here and this just indicates the transparency on this image so select whichever file format you want here I'm going to go for ping to maintain the transparency then I'm just going to click save and then just name your file and save that to your computer and we're done so that completes this tutorial showing you how to make a logo for your website using our free customizable logos in our free logo kit. And if you don't have our free logo kit, then you can just grab that on our website at websitewizard.tv and you can download that when you sign up as a free member. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below the video. And if you want to be notified when we release new videos, then go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.